Dear colleagues, the first topic of colonic diverticulitis is emergency operation for perforation. Approximately 10-20% of the patients admitted for acute diverticulitis will require emergency surgery, especially for free perforation. The recent trend toward a minimal invasive approach by peritoneal lavage in the presence of perforation does not give support to a classic concept that the appropriate surgical treatment of colonic peritonitis was based on the recognition that the disease involved a colonic segment and it was not only a focal point of perforation. This fact was postulated as the reason for a high postoperative mortality after the simple closure of a perforation associated with colostomy in the open surgery. And at the present time, this fact could also explain why two recent randomized clinical trials like LOLA and SCANDIV trials comparing peritoneal lavage with primary, primary resection failed to demonstrate superiority of laparoscopic lavage. In fact, more patients in the lavage group developed secondary peritonitis or needed reoperation. Moreover, there is something very worrisome. In several patients of the lavage group, perforated cancer were missed and not resected. It should be kept in mind that the lack of resection of a perforated cancer could influence the evolution of the oncologic disease. Another randomized clinical trial, the LALA, concluded that uh, laparoscopic lavage for hinge free peritonitis was feasible and safe in the short term. However, mortality rate in the first 30 postoperative days was higher in the lavage group. But the point of this trial that especially catches my attention is that no patient with resection underwent primary anastomosis. This possibility was not considered in the protocol, not even the author mentioned or criticized this aspect. And in my opinion, this fact represents an important step behind for the treatment of perforated diverticulitis. In fact, several years ago, different authors have already observed that resection in primary anastomosis can be a safe and effective treatment even in the presence of diffuse peritonitis. In conclusion, the role of laparoscopic lavage is still, is still unclear. Modern management of complicated diverticulitis should tailor the operation to the kind of patient and the kind of complication. So, Hartmann procedure and primary anastomosis should be offered to different patients and different mortality risks. And I am convinced that laparoscopic lavage will find its best place for selected patients getting better results. Finally, I would stress the importance of surgical specialization in colpoctology in terms of impact on the type of operation performed and on its results. Thank you very much.